Thank you, Andreas, for the inspiring talk. Um, what do you have to say about other coins uh, coming up? You think we'll have a sea of coins, each with its function? Uh, Ether is really popular now, mm -hmm. smart contracts. Will other coins come up? How do you see it happening? Yes, they will. And this is something fundamental to understand about the new world of digital currencies, or cryptocurrencies, of network-centric currencies is that we try to apply to them the ideas of the past. and We have all lived our entire lives in a system that delineates currencies by nationality, and allows them to be centralized, and also to compete in a zero-sum game. One currency wins only if another currency loses. What better example for that can you see than the fact that right now 24 central banks have set their interest rates to zero or negative in order to create a race of devaluation of their currency so they can er erase their debt. They're racing against each other to the bottom. And that is exactly the result you have in a closed system with strict borders. But that's not what happens with Bitcoin. The important thing to realize is that the money is not its physical form. Money is a form of language. Money is the language that we use to express value to each other. And money emerges in societies regardless of its physical form. It even emerges in primate societies. You can teach monkeys how to use money. And they will adopt it and teach it to their offspring. And they will also invent new financial things like prostitution and robbery. <laughs> you beat the other monkey, you take its pebbles, and you get bananas. Money emerges among kindergarten children. Even if they don't understand money, they trade tokens of money, colored blocks, rubber bands, Pokemon cards. It doesn't matter. Why? Because money is a lubricant for social interaction. If you have a language with which you express value, you can also express appreciation and belonging and lubricate the social connections. And if you look at money as a language, then we need to rethink this idea that this is a competition for who becomes the one global winner. English is a very popular language. Did you all stop? learning your local language because of that, or did you learn two, and three, and four? In the world, we have thousands of languages, and though we may see some power in some of the major languages, people can adapt in a way that they can use multiple languages. and The language connects them to their culture. And so when money becomes a language, as Bitcoin has, the idea that it will be replaced, or that we're looking to see which one is going to be the winner, is as ridiculous as asking if English or Spanish will become the one global language, or Mandarin. The bottom line is that we will have thousands of coins, and then we will have tens of thousands of coins, and most of them will have no economic value, but they will have cultural significance. They will have value of loyalty. They will be representing fans or creative appreciation. And some of them will be very large and have economic value. If you have a system like that, what emerges and that what we see in statistics and mathematics again and again is a power law or Pareto distribution. Just like you have 20 languages that are the world's most popular, but then you have a long tail of thousands of languages behind them. 20 artists who are some of the world's most popular and hundreds of thousands of artists behind them. And currencies will evolve in that way. We may have 20 currencies that have major economic value and fit in specific niches. Smart contracts, micropayments, cross-border transactions, solid reserve, etc. 
and then we will have tens of thousands in what is called the long tail. So, one of the things we have to do is get rid of old thinking when it comes to looking at this medium. We don't yet understand exactly how it's going to be evolved, and there's a very simple reason for that. We've never done this before. This is the first time in history that we've seen this emergent phenomenon happen, and you are sitting on the front rows of history. So, yes, ether, made safe, bring it on. <laughs>